Hi guys. So a couple of weeks ago we sowed some, some seed. We've got some wallflower and some sweet william. And they're getting ready to prick out, to take out and, and plant up. So you can see these are quite big. I want them this big enough that I can get hold of a pair of leaves for, for moving them about. Whereas these are a little bit small. They want an, another week yet. The reason being is if I break the leaf, it'll just grow another one. If I break the stem, that's it, your plant's dead and buried. Yeah? So I want to be just big enough to be able to, to handle the, the leaf, not the stem. So I've got a couple of six packs that we're going to use to grow them on. Uh, I'm just going to put some, some good compost in. So I literally put three or four good handfuls over that. I'm not really going to firm it down very much. What I'm going to do is just make sure they're level. And then I'm just going to tap them off so I can tap them individually. Just take the top off. Yeah. Then when I water them, it won't sink. Yeah, but I don't want to be firming it down, I don't want to get the air out of the compost. So I've just got an ordinary pencil, I'm just going to go underneath and just sort of loosen. I'm going to grab the top two leaves and just gently prise that out. And you see that's just got a little bit of root on. I'm just going to make a little hole, I'm going to drop it in virtually to the, to the leaf. And then that's done. So the next one comes... I just want to tease them. I'm not trying to move the root. I'm just easing them, pulling gently from the leaf. I'm just going to drop that in, and I'm not firming them down. So I don't want to get rid of the the air in the compost. So there, we've got two together. We can just pull them gently apart. There we go. They're in. Now, when I water these, often people are using a, a rose on the watering can, and, and that's fine. But with, what it tends to do is it tends to just batter them a little bit. I like to, to water the bottom. So I tend to put sort of an, an inch of water into a tray like this. I'm going to just leave them. If there's water in there, they don't need watering. It's just an easy way, whereas a lot of people let stuff dry out because it's not getting enough water. They're not quite sure when to water. The other thing about a rose is a rose puts water onto the plants. And they don't necessarily want it on the plants. They want it around the root. So just have a go. Take the rose off. When you're doing your hanging baskets and those sort of things, or your tubs, if you're watering with a with a lance on a hose pipe or with a watering can, just try taking the rows off, get the water where they want it, around the roots. I'm going to probably leave them for about six weeks in the in these tubs, and then I'm going to start liquid feeding. The rule normally is once you see the root starts to come out the bottom, that's the time to start feeding. Uh, we'll add this video to our uh, sowing the seed videos for these, but we'll keep it separate for a short time as well. Hope that helps. Uh, question of the day, um, what are you sowing and what different veg and flowers are you getting into your gardens? Thanks guys.